You're listening to Gotham Talk Radio's In Your Face Politics, hosted by New York Politicos, Brad Gerstman and David Swartz. We are back. And our, uh, well, next half of the show, we just spoke with Ed Mangano. This is Gotham Talk Radio with Brad Gerstman and David Schwartz. I'll tell you, I like Ed Mangano. He's a, he's a, he's a real guy. He's soft spoken. He's one. Of, I'll never forget, Brad. You know, when John Cheris, who, who's, who's a friend of mine, a friend of yours, he he runs his charity, leading with guts about Crohn's and colitis. And he he told me, you know, can Ed Mangano? We had our walk. Can Ed Mangano come by and say hello to the team? I think everyone would really like it. I remember how easy it was to get him to come. You know, we called him. He went. Not only did he go over, he had proclamations in his hand. He's he's really a good good guy. Yeah, he's a people's guy. Yeah. And I think that's what that that's what people like about him. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. He's Nassau County executive. He's one of us, and he's out there to help. And I think it kind of lends to what we're talking to Josh about is becoming you know a, a citizen leader of a community. And uh, and and that's what it seems like Josh was in the middle of telling us. Sorry about. Cutting you off. Well, why don't there? we even start over with him? We'll just get rid of that whole because he only was talking for like thirty seconds. So, so let's introduce our guests. We have Joshua Lapizan. Actually, let's not cut it off because we did such a good intro before Tim. You'll just have to cut this all up. Oh but anyway, um, Josh, I, I'm a big fan of yours. I remember when you won that school board race. How excited I was to see this kid. And I remember the you know during your victory speech. You had all your friends out there. It was all high school kids, right? There were no adults. There may have been some adults out there, but it was all high school kids going wild for you. And it was just a great spirit, you know, that it, I felt I felt that there was change ahead in Syosset. So why don't you tell us a little bit about, uh, uh, well, Brad, why don't you ask the question since you asked the delay? No, I mean, I, I guess some people, got ex- some people got excited, but, you know, others looked at it as like now the inmate's going to run the prison. And uh, that's not what... A lot of, well, some people want, you won with what, 83% of the vote? 82%. 82, that's pretty darn good. So, uh, so tell us, you know, when you got elected, what was the next step? You, you, you entered into no man's land, really. He was about to tell us about the thought process about getting into the election and then what what that was like running. So, why don't we start with that? Well, as I was, as I was saying before, you know, the, the thought process behind running, it wasn't an impromptu thought, you know, I'm going to run for the school board. Uh, you know, it was a well thought out process that I came up with. You know, uh, sophomore and junior year of high school, and uh, you know, re- really, I had such a such a great amount of ideas uh, for the Syosset School District. And the way it works in Syosset is that if you wanted to get involved, the only way you could really make an impact is if you were a school board member. So I had to run for the school board in order to really, you know, see my ideas come to fruition. Now, Brad, I know, you, you know, uh, understandably so. People, you know, met my idea of running for the school board with skepticism. You know, he's 18, he doesn't pay property taxes, and my answer really was, you know, I'm one of nine people. You know, a school board made up of nine 18-year-olds is not a solid board. That wouldn't be a, you know, a well-functioning governmental body. But one 18-year-old with fresh ideas and, you know, the perspective of students and, you know, the willingness to, you know, think outside the box to come up with creative solutions to problems, you know, I I think um, I sold voters on the fact that I would make a great addition to the board, and I feel like I have made a great addition to the board on uh, my my short tenure so far. Yeah, but I like to hear more. I mean, excuse me for you know raining on the parade, but I like to hear more about some of the you know people that were not interested in you entering that boardroom for the first time. I mean, come on, there was so much discussion in the papers about your first meeting, your second meeting at, with the board. Uh, you were out of order. The president threatens to quit. I mean, all these kind of things start to happen. Why? Just because, one, like you said, it's not a bunch of eighteen-year-olds taking over the place. It was one eighteen-year-old to throw uh, his uh, advice and his his ideas into the mix. So, what did you face? I mean, you're eighteen. You have older people with more experience than you. You're know, coming down on you. Where do you get, the, as we say in Italian, chutzpah to actually? Go forward in this situation and, and still speak up and speak your mind. Well, you know, what gives me courage and what drives me forward is really uh, the support that the residents of Sayas had put in me. You know, uh, that's, that's what really gives me, you know, the boldness and gives me the courage to go fight the battle, uh, you know, to get our fiscal house in order and to, you know, restore transparency to Sayas. Now, there was controversy with my first and second meeting in that, you know, I got a lot of advice to just stay quiet when I got on the board and not say anything and kind of, you know, ease my way in. 
However, I was elected with such a mandate that I felt that I had to go in there and begin to, you know, push my agenda through. And at the first meeting, I wasn't allowed to speak. So I read the entire Robert's Rules of Order cover to cover. And at the second... <laughs> and Who's advising you, though? I mean, I, I, I don't disagree with it, okay? I love it. But who's advising you on these on these terrific tricks of the trade? I, ha- I have, uh, you know, I had a campaign team during the campaign, but I had a trusted group of advisors who, you know, for the safety of their families and for themselves, I'm not going to give away. But I do have, you know, I... I as an age- are these adult advisors or are these just your friends? No, these are these are adult advisors, both in politics and and, and, in okay. my, and in my life. And you know, as you said, you know, I turned nineteen on Tuesday, so these people have a lot more life experience than I do. But I'm not a know-it-all nineteen-year-old. I know that I have a lot to learn, so I go to my uh, you know my advisory team for advice. So part part of their advice was to read the entire Roberts Rules cover to cover. So at the second meeting, when the president announced that it was time for new business, I made a motion that we go paperless. It would save the school district about seventy-five to eighty thousand dollars. And at the time when I made the motion, no one had made a motion because there had been no public mm. discussion at a board meeting in five years. What? What? It, yeah, what? Yeah, this we got to get into. It was Syosset School Board was the antithesis of what democracy was set up to be about: public discussion, debate, and compromise. So there hadn't been a discussion in five years. So all of a sudden, when I made a motion to discuss something in public, it kind of threw everyone off. And I was, you know, and, and that's when, you know, they had the picture of me in Newsday with the Roberts Rules of Order. But, you know, I, I, I wasn't going to be denied the opportunity to save the Syosset residents' money. So after that happened and after the story was put out in Newsday, by the September meeting, um, you know, I was, I was allowed to speak and I was allowed to make my motions at the meeting. And we had our first public discussion in over five years. Mm. And I felt that that was my first and real contribution to the board. The fact that people can come to the board meetings and see how their representatives feel about certain issues, that's democracy. And, and, I, was, and I was really proud of that. This is the epitome of what's wrong on Long Island in so many small jurisdictions, the towns, the villages, the school boards. But Josh, all right, so now you're at your second meeting. How, how, how are you being treated in, in the various communities you're in? How are you being treated by your peers, mm-hmm. the fellow students? How are you being treated by your teachers? How are you being treated by the administrators in the school? It, what, what's that? Oh, like? that must have been great with the teachers while you were there. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, did your grades automatically go up? Go you, down, you, or maybe right. they went down. Who Never knows? called on you. If what happened like, there? What know, happened? Was, give us some insight. And give you know what? Don't do the general political thing. Give right. us some. Give us some dirt. Every time give, you needed to yeah. go to the bathroom, they right. just <laughs> ushered you through. <laughs> some guys in the stall, and he just jumps out but, of the way. But Brad, you, you know away. the way they treat the school board members, like when the principal gets up. Oh, oh my God! Oh, and Mr. Kersman is here from yeah. the school board. I mean, it, it's but such it's unprecedented to have a kid. Yeah, on the board. Why? That's why I want to hear about the dynamic with you. Did you ever tell this principal, <laughs> shut up and get in your corner? <laughs> well, you I, heard me? I, you know, I, I wouldn't say that to anyone. Wipe that smirk off your face. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I don't think I'd say that to any of them, right. let alone our principal, Dr. Durante, in high school is an amazing guy. So I have the utmost Yeah, but just to right. mess with him, just to use, just to flex. You know uh, what? I let him you want to flex your muscle once in a while? It's like with Dave. I yell at him from right. time to time because I but, can. But, but give us a good answer here. Don't give us a All political right. answer. Well, I'll tell you, it was a unique experience because my election was May 15th and I won. So from May 16th to the end of June, I was a senior in high school as a trustee elect. So I wasn't yet a trustee on the board, but I was a trustee elect. So it was um, it was unique in, in you know in, in interacting with you know with certain teachers, certain certain administrators. But uh, you know it, it was a great experience. You know I think what 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 happened was you know it it kind of captured the entire school's attention, and it was a great lesson in politics for the students at Sayasa High School and all the schools. So I think that's what made it more unique is that for, you know, for a change, everyone's really paying attention to what's going on. A yeah, but come on. All right. That, that was but, crappy. Yeah, what, no what, disrespect. What about your grade? Did you get the grades you deserved at uh, the end? I mean, it would have been a lot easier for a teacher. You know what? This guy is like overseeing my job now. Let me just give him a higher grade. I mean, yeah, why I, mess with He's him? a graduating senior anyway. What and do I do? day after you, did right. you come in with like a big gold chain around your neck, <laughs> like bouncing around? Get out of my right, way. You make, you what about ma- girls? Like, Did you're it help one, girls? You're the one who makes the policy in these schools, yet you're the one that has to obey the policy. Well, you negotiate too. with right. the union. Right. You're the one that does it. You what about girls? I have so many questions. Right, right. right. I mean, I, this would have been perfect. That I girls mean, is a good question. Did you tell too. the captain right. of the football team to get out of your way? <laughs> did you say, you know what? You're give lucky. Us, give us you some have sport. a football team. 
You didn't build that. Give us a day-to-day <laughs> diary from May through June, through the day you graduated. What changed in it your life at that great. school? Give us something to... to this should to, be a TV to, show, Give us by something the way. to chew on. Well, something that was cool is that, you know, the infamous robocall, which I know you both know about, and pretty much all of Long Island knows about now, was sent that Monday night. And in the showing of solidarity on Tuesday oh, morning... Oh, right. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, the, the robocall. And in the showing of solidarity among the students Tuesday morning... Uh, the day of the election, I walked into my AP U.S. History, um, you know, AP exam, and there must have been 350 students taking it. And as soon as I walked into the gymnasium, everyone stood up and, and in solidarity gave me a round of applause. Oh, that is so and, beautiful. And, and the proctors didn't know what to do because they'd never... You know what I would have done? I would have taken the test, thrown it right back at the proctor <laughs> and said, I'll take an A. I got to go. <laughs> All right. All right. So that's a cool story. So that's a cool right. story. But no, it, it, it was cool. In, in, it was just, it, it was a fun time to be a senior because, you know, being a senior towards the end of high school anyway, you don't have that much work. Uh, there's a lot of free time. There's a lot of built up anticipation of graduation. But being, you know, a trustee elect, it felt good because I finally got to enjoy all the hard work I put into my election. But, uh, I got but it was at the end of the year. So explain to Dave what it was like to go with the prom queen to the prom. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually, you know, I, I went with, my, you know, one of my good friends, Alicia. I went with a very nice girl. But, pro, you know, prom, prom was great in that it was kind of the summation of the entire year. It was a night for me to just, you know, look back on all I accomplished and kind of just enjoy it. Because the campaign, you know, the campaign was emotionally grueling. You know, it was physically grueling. I was up going to train stations. You know, I was knocking on doors. I was going to events. So it was nice from May to June to kind of, you know, be a senior. Because all of my friends, you know, as se- second semester seniors... It's a fun time. You know, you don't have that much work. You get to just but be But why? You, you remember that, I mean, that robocall, they were attacking you personally. There was such a movement amongst like, the people, the you. status yeah. quo people. And it's the minority of people because everybody seemingly voted for you. Okay, so they wanted you. You entered with a mandate. But there was such a movement against you by these evil doers yeah. these people that well, just want their little fight to it's beyond them, that just oh, yeah. stay the same just and they the went whole very from. they went very far to try to take your legs out from under you yeah. do you hold a grudge towards these people i would be so angry i'd be going after them hammer and tire right, forget about what you take, would do you oh, didn't do I'm it a, all right i'm not allowed he to, did it i you would didn't do it okay? i would rip their eyes you out <laughs> metaphorically speaking you didn't run for school I board would, brad i would Josh, be I would be all over the right, Josh, how do you feel? How do you, so, how do you feel? You know, rather... You don't have to endorse his feelings. You can... Well, <laughs> that, was, that was very, you know, vivid and specific. <laughs> but rather than holding a grudge, I feel the best way, you, you know, the best, the best way to show these people, you know, the, the best way to kind of get back at them. And I, I, don't, I don't, you know, I, I don't hold a grudge. I don't seek revenge. But the best way to show these people that what they did didn't work is to continue to push for transparency and open government and everything they didn't stand for during the campaign. If I further my agenda, if I accomplish what I set out to do, then I'm totally getting back at them. And I feel that, you know, I, I owe it to the Syosset residents to focus on what's important, not getting back at the people who, you know, tried to, you know, ruin my election. What's important right now is getting our fiscal house in order and making sure we have one of the best school districts in the state. But but, but what did they do? Did they try to ruin your life at any time? Did it, yeah, I mean, well, give us some of the most, give us a little laundry list of the most vicious things that such a good politician. I know. It's incredible. I know. Now you, you can't break You know what, Josh? You become corporate. You become mainstream. You're exactly, nah. you are everything that you were Don't running. Don't give them a hard time. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, but, but, but give us, give us some. Give us a little bit. Then I want to sum up. I want to, I want to give, I want to give a summation at the end. No, Tim is getting antsy. No, no, no. There's a few more things we okay. got to talk about. Well, his um, future and stuff. I, I got to okay. tell you, during the campaign, um, I started positive. I never went negative at first. When people, you know, uh, I, all I spoke about when people asked me why I was running for the school board, you know, I, I didn't bring up the, uh, you know, luxurious salaries of administrators. I didn't bring up the tremendous debt the school district had. I just talked about what I wanted to run on. I was, you know, the opposition struck first. I'm the CEO of a program called Safe Ride Syosset. And what happened is, uh, Kathleen Rice brought a program. This called, is great. Get ahead. Yeah, Kath, Kathleen Rice brought, brought a program called Choices and Consequences to the High School, and it's all about not drinking and driving. And I went to the, you know, to, to my principal and I said, I'd like to speak at this event. I'd like to make sure parents know that my program, Safe Ride Syosset, is there. It's available to their ch- their children. Kathleen Rice said it was okay. Can you explain what the program is? Sure. Safe Ride Syosset is a program which, uh, you know, I founded in September of 2011. How it works is that Syosset High School students who either drink or are driven by somebody who drinks call the Safe Ride Syosset Hotline, which is my cell phone, Friday and Saturday nights from 10 to 2. Syosset students who drink? How? What's the drinking age? Drinking age is 21, which is why I don't drink. 
Wow. I mean, uh, why I, would I, people I, be drinking? But tell us about the program. I All think right, it's go on. Incredible. Well, you know, I, people I, who are drinking are doing so illegally, but go on. Correct, and it's a problem. But my program says rather than you know, rather than denying reality, let's accept it that kids do drink underage, and let's make sure they don't get behind the wheel. So, so as so as I said, you know, they can call the Safe Ride Syosset hotline, and myself and I have forty volunteer drivers, wow, which are, which are all Syosset High School seniors working in pairs, go to pick them up and take them home free of charge. And last year, we took home three hundred and fifty wow. students. And there was not one. That is single, really unbelievable. Something. There was not one single teenage drinking and driving accident when we were operating. So we made a real difference. And all I wanted to do was make sure the parents knew that we were available to their children. And Kathleen Rice's program said it was okay, but our district not only did they not say it was okay, they put a shadow on me for the entire night oh. to make sure I didn't say about it. I was being censored at my own high school. So that's when they kind of struck first. I bought over 450 lawn signs. By election day, over 400 were stolen. I can't oh. tell you how many negative advertisements were taken out against me in the paper, rumors about me. But as as I you know I I, I reached out to uh, you know the several people in in the political arena, and they all told me that this is the game I kind of have to be prepared for. So so you know I, I yeah, was. But that's very rough and tumble for a school board. Yes. So where are you now? Tell me now. Because at some point, I want to make a summation. Well, no, 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 no. There's two I'm lines of questioning. At, I'm chomping at the bit. Here. All right, what there, are they? There's, there's. We, I want to hear the, the 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 absolute mess that you've found now. But now that you're an elected official, what have you found? Why was there such a fiefdom? And then the the second set of questions are, you know, what what's in your future? So, I'll, Brad, I'll allow you to ask whichever one you want. No, you already asked. I'm just ask. I'm going to. I'm going to do the summation, and I would like oh, well, to do it quickly if you don't mind. We'll cut some stuff out. Later. All right, don't worry. So, about it. so why? why uh, Tim is getting that? crazy. He's now he's making. He's pacing. I'm sorry, he's Tim. <laughs> you don't have to. Cut all right, it's all right. Don't so, worry. It's not you. Dave's is, in trouble. Is, okay. Is Maybe this me. is this a fraudulent operation? No, no, it's not a fraudulent operation. What it was is that the school board members were listening to the administration. Um, you know, far too much. And that's what I found is that, you know, the administration has experts advising the school, their, their own experts advising the school board, and of course the superintendent advises the school board. And what I found is that as school board trustees, we need to do our own research, we need to listen to experts in the community rather than the experts of the administration, and we need to be a more hands-on government body. And that's how we solve the problems of the day, getting our fiscal house in order and paying down the $50 million of debt we owe. Wow. Yep. Dave, what was the other question you wanted to well, well, the other, gonna, oh, oh, do a oh, summation. You'll do a summation, and okay. you know something. So the when I'm done with the summation, you're not talking at all. Okay, that's I'm fine. just going to do that's it myself. Fine. That's fine, Josh. Josh. So now you've accomplished so much at such a young age. Uh, I'm, I'm so proud of you. Your Thank parents. You. I know your parents are very proud of you. Thank you. But give um, a Yiddish what, term what? to describe what you're I'm, feeling. I'm cavelling. Right. right. I'm cavelling. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> lots of nachos to your entire. Yeah. Life. But 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 so Josh. <laughs> What is and by the way, and, and we and, and the suspect, and the and the uh, Brotherhood uh, group would like to give you these beautiful yes. candles and, and the prayer book. And a <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, so now you know I, I have a feeling you're not going to be in, on school board the rest of your life, even though it's a war, an incredible accomplishment. What is in your future? What's next for you? Well, what's not, I mean, I'm a freshman in Nassau Community College, so after my sorry, I received my associate's degree, I'm hoping to transfer to Columbia University. Wait, 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 hold the phone. We went through this, by the way. I, before. I, yeah. yeah, but I, no, no, go ahead. I, I, I'm not no, interviewing no, you. No, no, I'm, I'm actually. I'm glad you're awake. This is a good follow-up. I mean, do no, I, I, I th thank no, you for I, your no, approval glad, of my question? I'm glad, I'm glad you're awake. God, no, but it's just like uh, now no. Dave's going to no, answer for no, I'm you, glad. and he's got to approve my question. That was my first. You know, this he's at. He's clearly smart. All right, go ahead. <laughs> That's me bashing <laughs> right, my head. Right, right. Okay, listen. He's got a four point. I, I have no. <laughs> I, have, I have no problem with Nassau Community. I think everybody should go to a community college, okay? But what were your grades in high school when you graduated? Uh, yeah, I, I had a, a middle 90 average. I, I was, I was middle pretty, 90? I was pretty You're good. acting like that's just a middle 90. Dave, they have had a middle 70. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, he, he's lucky he could tie his shoes by the time he graduated. Brad had a middle two. I, Brad yeah. actually got a two All right, on so, one so listen, why, I'm just curious. Why did you go to Nassau? Well, I had, you know, I had great grades in high school, and you know, I, I could have gone to uh, you know, a bunch of places away. The reason I went to Nassau is because, first of all, I have to be close to my constituents because I ah. have a big agenda. And being on the school board, I like to be close wow. to, to really gain a good pulse of what the community well, is You're feeling. serious about this stuff. Yep. But secondly, the reason I went to Nassau is because, um, you know, as I said, I'd like to transfer into Columbia, which is a top four-year university. Yeah. It's much easier to transfer into a top four-year 
from a two-year school like NASA rather than a By the way, everybody school. should but, do what you just But everything do. is strategy with him. That's right. what I love about you. Well, he you, thinks you it really out. Think he thinks a few a few right. steps ahead. And, and kids these days don't, don't, don't think about anything. Yeah. But you, 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 you know, uh, are you still answering a question right now? Before you, because you cut, I cut you off with the no, NASA. No, no, no. You said where are you going. That I'm was glad Dave's you got, question. I'm glad you got that out. No, well, I was happy. And then I'm going to give the summary. No okay. Problem. I don't want to. I was about to oh, give Oh, no, 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 no. He didn't finish my question. All right. Well, that because he's he's supposed to answer. Now that he took care of the Nassau Community College Correct. thing, where so, are you going? Like, what's, heavy. what's in your political well, future? In my political future, um, my next step is, you know, my term on the school board ends 2015, and I made a commitment to the residents of Syosset that I would serve them up until 2015, which I will. After my term is over, I plan to run for the New York State Assembly. My goodness. That's you know something? I, I, now can I give Dave, am I permitted, do I have permission from you? To at least begin some kind of I'm summation. I'm just so happy I was here at the beginning. You know, at the beginning of your greatness. Because I, I have such high hopes for you. Thank I really you. do. So instead of answering my question, Dave goes on with his own. So listen, listen no, Josh, I want to tell you. I've been, I've been looking at you. We've been talking. We spoke beforehand. Mm -hmm. uh, you really are a remarkable guy. I, 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 and you know something? You're, you're, you have such great composure. And I guess that explains how you're able to walk into a board meeting. With all these adults around you, believe me, I've walked into board meetings myself right as a, for the first time, and I was intimidated to some extent. And I'm probably one of the most intelligent people around, oh, oh. <laughs> and you know, I have nothing at all to ever f be intimidated by. Okay, but you, as a younger person, having never experienced this, it's amazing you can go in, and not only do you go in, but you go in with a plan, and you go in with a plan, and you say the right things, and you do the right things, and you create change, which. If you look at politics today, it is so infrequent that you find anybody that's willing to actually make change. You see, there are people that are willing to talk about making change, and that's what everybody runs on. Mm -hmm. But I could tell you from firsthand experience, those people go in and they lie flat down, face first, waiting to be told what to do by leadership. And you weren't looking for that. And that's the way it was running. And you busted it up. So I can just say is that when it comes to traditional government, mm -hmm. uh, higher than the school board, not minimizing school board, but a traditional government, this is what we need. We need more people like you. And I'm not this. Somebody at 80 years old can decide they're going to do it the way you're doing it. It's not an age thing. Mm -hmm. It's just a. It's just a, a different way of thinking, and you have a maturity level way beyond your years, obviously. And your parents deserve a tremendous amount of credit Absolutely. for turning out a kid like you. I don't know, maybe you have brothers or sisters, maybe one's in prison and the other one's in drug rehab, Definitely. maybe not. Okay, I'm just kidding. But even if you were the, even if that were the case and you were the only success, your parents still did a good job. The net sum is a positive and, I, and I'm happy to meet you, have met you, and I hope to see you achieve greatness in the coming years. And Shabbat Shalom. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> so, jo really Josh, it was great having you on our show. You, you've been a terrific guest. We had a great show tonight, and I'm doing this for the music because we're going to wrap this oh, up. Oh, no, I thought you were going to dance. We're gonna, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. If it comes on, I'm going to dance. But, Josh, yeah. it's, it's been really it's really been an honor meeting you. We're going to keep up with you. We expect great things for you. And this is Gotham Talk Radio with Brad Gersman and David Schwartz signing off for now. But we will be back next week with another show, a fresh show. This is the greatest show on Long Island, in New York, and in the world. So goodbye, everybody. GothamGR.com GothamTalkRadio.net Look out for Millennial Partners because we're going to take over the world there and goodbye residents Very good Very good, really good. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, that was a great show.